Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very, 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 very easy holiday look. I literally kept it to like three or four products on the eyes, no eyeshadows, so I tried to make it really, really easy and fast for you guys. And also you guys forgive the energy in the video, I am not well, but I really wanted to put up at least one video this week, so I thought I would still do it. That's my fridge, making weird noises. But yeah, I, rude. But I really wanted to put a video up this week, so I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it? You haven't watched it yet. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, I know I look like complete shit right now. I really am not feeling good, but I really, really wanted to put up a video this week, so I thought I would do a really, really quick, easy holiday look that literally everyone can do. I promise you this is really, really easy. Um, so step one, priming, I am losing my mind. Step one, I'm not your teacher, but I'm using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick for um, as primer. I really like this stuff to kind of mattify. It really does give you a really soft, clean slate. Um, I'm going to use the Born This Way foundation today. This is one of my favorite foundations, especially if you have not only dry skin, but dehydrated skin that still produces oil. It's really hard to find foundations that can do that. And this one, it's just perfect and it gives you the like such a beautiful dewy finish as well. I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender because if you watch me, you know I don't mess with anything else. I stick with my beloved beauty blender. Okay, so for concealer today, I thought I would use the same one. I feel like these two make such a nice pair together. They're both so very light on the skin, but they actually give you, you know, like the coverage that you want. You still want to be able to conceal dark circles and stuff, which this does, but it's just so light and fresh and airy on the skin. So I'm just going to blend in these areas as per usual. Nothing new here. What I am going to do though, instead of using primer, I'm going to take this concealer up onto the lids. Okay, so that's all the liquids that I'm going to use, so I'm going to set a little bit. I'm going using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finished. I have the color Medium. This is just a really nice setting powder if you have really dry skin. It sets your face, but it doesn't take away that luminosity that the foundation gives. So we might as well just finish the face now that we're on it. Um, I'm not using like a lot of eyeshadow or you, any eyeshadow, so I won't have any downfall. I cannot talk. Like I can't piece my words together. I feel like I'm living in another dimension. You know where like everything's moving really slow and stuff? That's what I, I feel like I'm on something on some type of drug. But for bronzer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Bronzer. I'm just gonna go into this. This is a really, really, really beautiful bronzer. It's a top fave of mine. I'm just gonna use that to bronze. Ooh, <laughs> apply a little bit too much. It's okay, we'll blend it out really pretty. It's not completely matte. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Those are my favorite type of bronzers. Like if you can't tell in every video I say that because 
I don't like the completely matte bronzers on me. I like them to have not glitter, but just a little bit of luminosity because I feel like that looks a lot more natural. I'm going to very, very, very lightly contour just a bit. Just going into this shade in the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I'm just keeping that right close to the ear, right here in this area. I'm not pulling it down too far. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to pull that product upwards. Something else I like to do is to take the banana shade in the um, Kat Von D palette and um, take that under the eyes to just really brighten that area up. Okay, for blush today, I am using an all-time favorite, NARS Luster. I have the liquid version of this as well, and I love both of them. They're probably my, like my most used blushes. I'm just going to put that on the apple, blending upwards. Okay, for highlight today, I'm gonna go into this palette, the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. <laughs> that is a mouthful. And I'm just gonna use this gold color today. And we are going to highlight. I like to kind of position the highlight in this general area. And then I'll start doing circular motions just so it doesn't look like a stark line. What do you guys think? Isn't that the prettiest thing? Okay, you guys, let's work on the eyes. The first thing I'm going to do is take a Armani eye tint. Now, you can get these in a cream stick version, a pop version pretty much in any brand now, so you don't have to have the Armani one. Use any color that you have that's kind of like a camely color, or it could really be any brown that you want. It could be cool, warm, whatever your heart desires. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm sorry if the mirror gets in the way, but I need to see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to take this and Apply all over the lid. This stuff is really, really liquidy, but it does dry fast, so be a little bit fast when you work with it. So now that I have it on my lid, you can use a brush for this step if you want. I should probably show you guys what I'm doing. But I'm just patting the product in and then I'm going to take this brush right here and just really blend that product out. Okay, so now I'm going to take a slightly darker color. This was the first one that we used. Now I'm going in one with this one. I think this one is called Spice Smoke. And what I'm going to do with this one is just keep it really close to the lash line. So I'm just taking it, hope you can see this, and I'm putting it right along my lash line. I'm not taking it too far up. And then when I'm getting to the outer V, I'm kind of going a little bit higher. And then again, you can use your brush or a finger or whatever you want. I'm going in with this smudger brush and I'm just tapping the product into place. I'm not blending it or moving it anywhere I don't want it. Okay, now I want to make sure that the top lids are completely dry before we do anything else. So now what I'm going to do is take that light color, which is Camel Smoke. These have weird names. Um, and I'm going to put this right underneath the lash line. If you're nervous to go in straight with the applicator, put it on a brush first and then um, go in. That might be a little bit easier. And I'm just taking a smudger brush now and blending that product out. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner. This is a sample I have. I'm just putting that into the waterline. And I'm also gonna take that in my tight line. Okay, next I'm gonna use the Chroma Crystal Top Coats by Natasha Denona. I have the bronze one and the nude one, and I can't decide which one I wanna use. Let's go with the nude. So I'm just taking that on my finger. I'm gonna apply to the lid. I'm applying it right in the center, right where my eyeball is. So to make it look a little bit more smoky, I went in with the Marc Jacobs and I put it along my lash line, just very slightly, and then blended it out with a blending brush. But now I'm just gonna take my Stila eyeshadow in the color Kitten, and I'm putting that right in the tear duct area or the inner corner. I'm also going to take the Stila color and put that on the brow bone. Okay, I'm going to curl the lashes. Okay, you guys, now put on <coughs> now put on your favorite mascara and we are done with the eyes. Tell me, wasn't that the easiest eyeshadow ever? It was like four steps. Okay, you guys, so for lips today, I went in with the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie lipstick in Hot Fire. I wanted to do more of an orangey red instead of just like a straight red, just to spice things up a little bit, if that spices things up for you. But I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I am sorry for the energy, you guys. I promise the next video will be a lot funner to watch, but I hope this was a really easy, quick tutorial that you can do anytime you want. And with that, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can chill next time. Bye, guys.